Gun violence is happening more and more, and it has scarred some Buffalo communities as shootings continue to rise. At ECMC, they work tirelessly to help people survive with trauma to the body, but there is also trauma to the mental well-being of victims and their loved ones. Counselors are there to help, but it is difficult for them as well. Channel 2's Ron Plants explains. Besides that round-the-clock medical treatment by doctors and nurses at ECMC to save the lives of shooting victims, specifically assigned mental health counselors also assist those victims and their families. A federally funded and state-run program covers a psychologist and up to four social workers. And they can be very effective at that very emotional time, which is perhaps a crucial turning point in the lives of victims. You've been shot. I mean, this is frightening. And so at that moment, it's kind of a, what we know from other programs is that it allows sort of this insight, this moment of vulnerability to be able to realize, you know, I don't want, I don't want to die. I don't want this to happen. Um, and so it gives you a path towards thinking about other options. And that connected and also government funded snug or should never use guns program comes into play with three hospital responders who also help victims and their families, but then go on to help the victims transition back into the community with education and employment opportunities. We actually are spending time with them through the whole process. So it's not just, oh, you need schooling. OK, go here, you know, have a good day. It's what else is, oh, you need schooling? Let us go with you and, you know, go through the whole process with you. However, the pandemic and the seemingly unrelenting surge in shootings has been hard on the counselors as well who work through COVID. And we can't afford to be burnt out because, in my opinion, our work is too important. But, yeah, it's, summers are very difficult. Um, I think, you know, it's just, it, it hurts. The community has become so desensitized to violence because there, it's a reoccurring thing. It's ongoing trauma. So, you know, kind of just talk more people about that as well, like the importance of it, the mental health aspect. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.